Hello, you cod-flavoured condoms. Jim Sterling here, and this is... Um... Survival night? Night survival thing? I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it's a Tero Lunka game, and that's important. Tero Lunka games. Uh, we've covered a couple of them in the past. Uh, I didn't even know some of them were related. I didn't know Lawnmower Game came from the same genius that gave us Go-Kart Survival, or the amazing Survival Driver games, which, uh, if you've not seen those, uh, well, look at the uh, top ten shittiest games of 2017 Jimquisition, and you'll see a couple clips of some of Terra Lunka's incredible work. Uh, but what makes Terra Lunka games especially interesting is I can't tell if this person is cracked or not because after I did a video on go-kart survival uh, maybe I'll throw up some footage of that here if I can remember uh, they sent me an email allegedly I got an email from uh, apparently Terra Lunka Games promising consequences if I didn't take down my video and grovel and do all this kind of shit uh, it was badly spelled a total mess um, vaguely threatening uh, I, I was just like whatever I'll choose the consequences, and I left it at that. But then I got an email from a different email address purporting to be the real Tero Lunka, who said that that wasn't them. And that's somewhat plausible, because it wouldn't have been the first time that someone's pretended to be an indie developer to try and start shit with me, because... I attract all sorts of creeps and weirdos, and that's another creepy weird thing they do. So I got that email and was like, okay, well, whatever, I'll just drop it. But someone tried to issue a DMCA takedown on the Go-Kart Survival game, and that didn't really sit well with me. And when that happens, I then become doubly interested in the output of the developer issuing the takedowns. But we're in a weird situation. Uh, we're in a tight spot, as uh, Killer7 fans might say. Uh, we don't know if YouTube really is so fucked now that anyone can make up an email address and issue a DMCA takedown. Now, my video is still up because I'm under that YouTube copyright protection thing, I guess because I get hit by so many fraudulent DMCA takedowns, which apparently that doesn't apply to everyone. It is just me and maybe three other people who are under that because everyone else is still getting DMCA takedowns, like uh, I am Patty Jack, so fuck knows. But we're in this situation where I don't know if YouTube is just that bad that anyone can issue a fraudulent DMCA takedown, whether they are the actual person or not. Because I always thought you had to prove, prove your identity somehow. But fuck knows now. Either way, this is one of 20 games that Terra Lunk has put up over the past year or so. 20. And that's not even one of the worst offenders. There are people who have put up more than that over a year. Steam Direct. Jesus Christ. That's all I can say about Steam Direct now, just Jesus effing Christ. Anyway, toddle on over to level select. And where are we at? Oh, I had to click it twice. Of course you got to double click. Why, why wouldn't you double click? That's on me. I'm very sorry. So, that was our first bit of sound in the whole game, was clicking on that. Level select, Snowland 1. Why not? Oh, and another sound effect. Aren't we lucky? We get two sound effects today. Loading. And here we go. Right. So clicking the mouse buttons off the bat don't do nothing. Uh, e, nope, R. Okay, so the R key draws our weaponry and, oh, block that. Okay, Dark Souls this ain't. Let's uh, try and block. Oh yeah, they will just, whoa. They will power through and stagger you so you can't get your shield up. But you can't stagger them, it seems. Is there even a lock on? Hang on, let me try and get some distance. And I said, let me try and get some distance, you prick. Quite famously, if, if you have followed my previous videos on this person's work, uh, quite famously, the controls are for shit. And physics are completely alien and bizarre in the world of Terra Lunka games. But, you know, that's a nice little asset. Usually... Usually they're pretty ugly, the ones that get chosen. But, oh, there's something glowing among the embossed trees. 
But they don't look like snow-covered trees, really, do they? They just look like a bad Photoshop filter. Anyway, let's go. Actually, I used a very similar bad Photoshop filter on uh, Monday's Gymquisition thumbnail. Um, just because I couldn't think of what to do to make that Ubisoft presentation slides look half decent when it was blown up to the, the right size for the thumbnail. Thumbnail, there's a relic of the past, because thumbnails for YouTube and stuff, you know, they're at least in a 1080 resolution. Be careful, do not touch red ground, it will kill. All right, so don't touch red ground. That was fucking inventive. Couldn't be lava or anything interesting. Just red ground. Yeah, look, it's just off off the floor, like a like like Tron or something. That's a lot of skeletons in the distance that we've just sort of bypassed. But anyway. And alley up! So we've got some platforming going on. Reminds me of that old racing game from the 90s that was sort of a platforming racing game. I don't know if you'll remember the name of that. I can't quite recall it. Was it a, no, it wasn't really a racing game. It was like a sci-fi, you were in a vehicle, like maybe a spaceship or something, but you were jumping on platforms. Oh my God, Jesus, I was hammering the attack button. He was just standing there like a knobhead. I'm beginning to think it's not worth our while engaging in combat. I'm getting shades of pickled Rick, that old classic. Anyway, this is going to be a long one. Oh, we made it. I really didn't expect that. What's that? Is that one fire effect in the middle of all of this? Yeah, don't worry. I see you with your feet clipping through the ground. It's a flat surface. How do you not get the feet to connect right? <laughs> Try and get me now. Go on, fall into the red. It will kill. That's what I hear. Well, it doesn't kill the skeletons, does it? He's just having a whale of a time down there. Oh, well, fuck it. Okay, it's getting a bit more difficult now because it's just fucking jet black. <laughs> right. What the hell am I supposed... Oh, there we go. If we jump, we can look down and... Oh! Congrats, level finished. That's all one sentence. Brilliant. And then... Right back to the main menu. <laughs> good, good. Uh, I don't want to look at Snowland anymore. Let's go to Dungeon Dungeon Land. Dungeon Land 1. What have we got going on in here? And, whoa, here we are. Lava, laser and fire traps, kill player immediate. Right, well, I get kind of the point of that. Anything, anything that isn't you will kill you. I guess we can just walk onto that, yeah. Oh, those skeletons are still after us. They're not bothered by any of the traps. But let's say combat is pretty... Can we just... Oh no, we can't... It doesn't kill us though! It's just an invisible wall! Ha! Anyway, jump over that shite. Ignore the skeletons, like I said, it's not really worth it. Just a little bit of fire on the ground. Game design is something of a foreign concept to this particular purveyor of software. Uh, let's... Whoa! <laughs> okay, then. Let's have another go. Double click, sorry. I keep forgetting. Oh, uh, again, another issue with Terra Lunker's games. It's one of those ones where you've got to click the mouse button in order to uh, gain any control of the camera or what whatnot. That's pretty common in a lot of shitty games that end up uh, on Steam via Direct. Which, by the way, Steam now, if you browse new releases like I oh we'll just carry on if you browse new releases like I want to do uh, it's an utter mess now it's it's impossible to even look at like look at games that way you're really wholly dependent on algorithms to know anything now or you just look at the top releases and hope that they're not there because of memes that's your best bet with Steam these days. Half the time, like I've mentioned it in some Gympressions videos, like half the time I find out about games when they come to console now, simply because they're still browsable when I'm looking for new games. And there we are. <sighs> I mean, 
It's not very good, is it? Oh, fuck off. Let's get out of sword there. Oh, no, no, this is too much. You can't really fight that many of them. Like, just one of them's bad enough because they can just, like I say, just... Oh! They're getting bored. Then just power through your attacks. So I don't want to sit here and try and fight, like, four or five at fucking once. But here we are. Engaging in... I mean, it's not really platforming, is it? Because... It's the principle of platforming. What do you call this? Like, outside of shite. And what's that? What are these here for? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm assuming this wobbly stuff ain't good. Oh, it's just a flag, is it? I mean, with this game, flags very well could be lethal. But we're just going to run over... Oh, there's a treasure chest. Maybe we'll get some loot. Get, get a new sword or something. I can't wait to find... Oh, it's just the menu again. Oh. Okay, then. Well... It's grassland time. Let's go to the grasslands and see what they've got to offer. I'm going to guess more skeletons and things to jump over. There are the skeletons. We'll get our sword out. You see, this one starts with two. Two skeletons instead of one, which makes it very different from snowy land. And things to jump over and on. We've got some battlements here. Look at that. The funny thing is, is climbing at the top of this tower and then turning the camera around. I don't really see this as looking all that much worse than Dynasty Warriors 9. I don't think that's too hyperbolic. I really don't think that is. Not that I want to keep banging on about Dynasty Warriors 9 and what they did to Zhang He, but... You know. Fuck that game. But anyway, we'll carry on with this. Look at that, look, water effects. And by water effects, I mean just clipping through a bit of water-coloured ground. So we're being pursued by skeletons again. I'm going to assume this is the right way to go and not that little crevice down there, because this is where all the lasers are. It is now pitch black. Cannot see anything except for health bars and the lasers. So we are guessing now. We are really... Well, so there was something I had to jump across. Yeah, there's like a ledge or something. I think. Let's uh, get up there. This is pure guesswork. If you think you can't see anything, don't worry. I can't see much myself. I... That didn't feel like that should have happened. I feel like that was on the game and not me. But I guess we'll have to carry on. You can't even sprint, can you? I can't tell. I really can't tell if there's an appreciable speed difference if I hold down shift. But anyway, here we are just trundling along with our shiny knight. Back to the... I mean, what kind of design is this? Look, they've just made a fucking... This is how I put little big planet levels together. Just randomly throwing some fucking textures near each other and hoping it'll look like a level. But nonetheless, you know, we're dealing clearly with a professional game developer because they're making games and selling them, so... I don't like this level. Is there a way to just get back to the... Can I not get back to the main menu? There we are. I don't like Grassland 1. Let's see what Grassland 2's like. I'm sure that'll be much better. So, here we go. <sighs> right. Here we are. Oh! Walling into water will kill player. That's good advice. Walling into water will kill player. Let's uh, duck the skeletons by going this way. It's funny how I really have just completely given up on combat. Oh, fuck. Oh, we went... Oh, 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 oh. A little round of applause for that. That was the best thing this game's done so far. So, I will say that out of all of the Terralunker games I've played... This one is the best one so far. Make of that what you will. <laughs> it's got more gameplay than a uh, lawnmower game. And it's more just playable in general than any of the survival driving games we've played. 
I can actually get to the end of some levels here, which is a big step up from some of our previous experiences. Now, we can only hope this is the right way to go. Oh yeah, they're skeletons, we'll be fine. <laughs> it comes to something when you see enemies and think we'll be okay. So we're just jogging along because, like I say, combat's just a waste of our time. Watching skeletons walk through walls. Fuck off. I'm curious if there is dodging or anything. We'll, we'll press some random buttons while we're running along, see what happens. Uh, nothing I can... Whoa. Oh, oh, enter. There is a lock on. Oh, it's not enter though. What What was it? Space is it? No, space was jump, obviously. What button is that that lo locks on? I can't... There is a... What was that? F. F for a dodge. And the mouse ca the camera controls what you lock onto. But I can't, what was, hang on, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to F, F, no, no. I can't do anything. Oh my. Oh yeah, the skeletons will be fine. Okay, we're gonna go to the village because we've seen what the snows and the grasses and the dungeons have to offer. So we're gonna have a look at the village and see what that's all about. And then we'll be done with it. And I can uninstall this game and never think about it again. Okay. Find village and hidden treasure. Beware enemies and traps. At this point, do we really need much in the way of tutorial? It's basically get to the end of the level and don't die. That's been this way for the whole thing. But the village is in a jungle, which you don't often find in a medieval setting. What is that on the floor? Coconuts? Coconuts fallen? Fossilized? Anyway, more skeletons. There is no other enemy type. We have not seen another enemy type at all. It's just skeletons. And I never did work out what the lock-on key was, did I? Oh, well. I'll take that on the, the, the nose, that. I... Didn't think there was a lock on or dodge, and there was. Like I say, this is the best Terra Lunker game ever fucking, that, certainly that I've ever played. This is more of a, a pier than a village, but look, that's the way to go, isn't it? Yeah, we can't hit the water because that'll kill us. At this point, maybe even that laundry will kill us. Uh, flying. Ladders and objects and a tire. What universe does this take place in? Because I'm pretty sure at the time of nights, you know, like medieval stuff, I don't think rubber tires. I don't think Michelin was a company at this particular moment in time. I mean, I get it. I'm talking about realism in a game with skeletons in it, but by the same token, a little bit of artistic cohesion would be nice. You know, this is what we talk about when we talk about asset flips. But for what I assumed was the last level, this is the easiest one. Cause look, here we are at the end. And that's that, congrats level finished. All right, goodbye.